Our next guest is a platinum selling singer, songwriter, and musician. She's nominated for three Grammy Awards, including Best New Artist. We're delighted to welcome her to the Late Late Show. The dazzling, the divine Ingrid Andrus is here. Everybody, hey Ingrid, how are you? Happy New Year. Happy New, but same year. Yes. <laughs> That's very good. That's exactly what we should be saying. New but same year. Yeah. Did you find that people kept saying to you, are you reflecting on the year? And I was like, no, because we're still in it. Until this is over, we're still in 2020, really. For sure. And honestly, I've been so drunk, I can't remember most of the end of this year. So here we are. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, you have a lot to celebrate. You have a lot of reasons to, uh, to, to have some drinks. You've been nominated for three Grammys this month, including Best New Artist. Uh, it's so terrific. What did you do? when you found out this incredible news? Well, I was by myself um, and like watering my plants and I basically like fell to the ground like a crazy person. I'm surprised I didn't have one of those like help I've fallen and I can't get up monitors because that was me for sure. I could not get off the ground uh, after I found out. Uh, it was pretty shocking to me. I mean, you've, you're up against some incredible company on that list uh, and it, it's an amazing i think the real achievement is is being nominated in amongst a group like that is incredible who of your fellow nominees in the best new artist category who would you who would you most like to to meet and hang out with um definitely megan the stallion um yeah. she like she does real hot girl stuff and i do real sad girl stuff so i feel like <laughs> together we cover the spectrum and she also inspired me to like start doing yoga because i saw the walk video and i was like can everybody do the splits because i can't so i basically started doing yoga because of her because i was like that's gonna be me one day um we're not there yet but she is dope I, well i'm i could i actually feel like a sad girl hot girl collaboration would be sensational i really do uh, but let's talk about your album ladylike it was the highest streamed debut country album by a female artist ever and um, it's an amazing achievement how do you wrap your head around this um i still have not to be honest i feel like a lot of it was thanks to quarantine because the songs a lot of them are just really emo and I think we were all feeling pretty emo this year. And so I feel like everybody could just relate to being sad, maybe, or just like really emotional. So, yeah, it wasn't ideal, but here we are. Well, here we are indeed. And um, congrats on everything. I cannot wait until the day comes when we, we can invite you to come and perform in the studio. Uh, we, we really, really love you here on the show.